You only have so many hours in a day to get everything done. Remembering to schedule data to be sent from your numerous units and monitoring sites can be overwhelming and stressful, especially if you forgot to schedule one. This scheduler tool is a programmable calendar that allows you to specify when and how you want to monitor the vibration, air overpressure, and sound being created by your project. Thor's scheduler tool allows you to pre-program the date, time, length of data you need to record, and the mode you would like to monitor, whether it's waveform, histogram, or histogram combo mode. Actions such as automatic start-stop monitoring for selected time windows greatly optimizes battery life and streamlines the collection of relevant data. The self-check diagnostics action ensures the Minimate Pro and its sensors are in working condition for recording data. The auto call home action sends data back to a local computer running Instantel's Thor software or to Instantel's cloud-based vision platform. For more information on setting up auto call home, please refer to our other videos and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. This video will show you how to configure the scheduler in Thor and how to activate the schedule from Thor or directly on your Minimate Pro. Start Thor by double-clicking on the Thor icon that was added to your desktop when you installed Thor. Click on the Unit tab and then click on the Manage Schedules icon. From this window, any existing schedules will appear on the left under Schedules. The details of the selected schedule will appear in the form of a calendar in the middle window. The side panels on the right reveal all connected units and any notification messages relevant to the interactions between Thor and the unit. To create a new schedule, click the Add Schedule icon. Define the schedule's name, for example, Compliance Schedule for Blasting. The description, for example, Operations at Bellevue Quarry, and indicate the unit type, in our case, a Minimate Pro. Enabling the checkbox Repeat Daily will use the defined day schedule as the master. All other days will mimic this schedule. If you are using a weekly schedule, this will display Repeat Weekly and repeat the weekly schedule. Define the work hours. This adjusts the calendar display accordingly. Click on the calendar icon next to the start time to see a time grid, or simply input a time manually. The increments must be in 30 minutes. Enter the day's end time in the same way. Select day to set up actions on a daily routine. Select week to set up actions on a weekly routine. Note, if you need both a daily and weekly schedule, simply create another schedule with a different name. To create an action, double click in a time slot. Select the appropriate action, for example, start monitoring, and choose to which unit setup file will be used in this scheduled action. If you don't have any existing unit setup files, you have two options. Either create one by clicking on the New button, or you could close the scheduler tool and load a setup file from any unit that is currently connected to Thor. Here's how. Click Cancel, go to the Unit Setup, and then click on the Load from Unit. A note on Unit Setup Files. This powerful feature allows you to monitor using different recording modes, trigger levels, sample rates, and recording length. However, it does not allow you to specify different sensors in the same schedule. For example, you could create one setup file recording a waveform at 2048 samples per second with a trigger threshold at 12 millimeters per second, and another setup file recording in histogram combo mode with 4096 samples per second using a trigger threshold of 5 millimeters per second. You can also interchange between compliance and advanced setup files. Numerous setup files can be stored on the Minimate Pro. The schedule determines which and when to activate a setup file based on the defined time periods.
The only restriction for operating in this way is that the hardware must match with the setup configuration. You cannot program a setup file to run an ISEE geophone and then change to monitor a DIN geophone. Now let's return to our scheduler and create our schedule. We can now add a start monitoring action. Stop monitoring, use this in conjunction with the start monitoring. Self-check is good for performing diagnostics on the unit before or after monitoring to ensure everything is working as it should. Let's add a few more actions and finish the day with an auto call home. Once you have gathered your data, this will call home into Thor and upload all event files to Thor or Vision. Please refer to the auto call home video. You can also select numerous actions to shift them around on the calendar or copy and paste actions. To do this, use the control or shift keys while selecting and right click. Let's replicate the day's schedule for the rest of the week by selecting all actions and copy pasting them. Click OK. In the details window, you can see the new schedule. All that remains is to send it to the unit. If you accidentally try to send the schedule of a Micromate to the Minimate Pro, you will encounter an error. Click on OK, then select the correct unit in the list and try again. Click the Send to Unit button. This gives a warning that any setup files already existing on the unit with the same name will be overwritten. Click Yes to continue. When Thor has transferred the schedule, it asks you if you want to enable the schedule on the unit. The schedule can be enabled here or from the unit dashboard. Let's click No and activate it from the unit dashboard. A notification informs you of the schedule's status. Click OK. Once the schedule has been successfully sent to the monitoring unit, you will receive a notification informing you of the successful transfer. This is indicated by the bell icon on the sidebar. You can clear this notification or also leave it for future reference. Click on the Manage Units icon. Select your unit, then click on the Scheduler's Disabled button on the Unit Dashboard to enable the unit schedule. If you're using Thor's Auto Call Home, make sure the service is enabled and running. If not, this would be the equivalent of the unit calling home but no one picking up to answer. Click on the Auto Call Home tab. Under the General section, if the Auto Call Home is stopped, then click the Start button. It is a good idea to also make sure any filter that handles incoming calls is properly set up. In our case, our filter is set up to copy events, copy monitor logs, delete events and logs from the unit, and set the date time. If you needed to transition through Thor and send the schedule and events to Vision, you would also need to enable these last two parameters. Now let's finish the setup on the Minimate Pro unit. Make sure your Minimate Pro is at the home screen displaying the ready to monitor message. If you're not at this screen, press the cancel key until this screen is displayed. The bottom of the screen displays the available options. Ensure that the monitor scheduler is set to ON. Press the Setup key. Press the down arrow key until View Edit Setup File is highlighted. Press the Enter key. Press the down arrow key until Monitor Scheduler is highlighted. Press the right arrow key to toggle between on or off. Press the enter key two times to save the setting. Press cancel to exit. In this case, cancel behaves like a back key. Don't worry, your changes are saved. Press the start monitor key. The screen will display monitor scheduler, then the type of monitoring according to the current state of the scheduler. This could be waveform, histogram, or histogram combo. In our case, it shows waveform monitoring. 
Note, the active setup file name is shown at the top right of the screen. Let's create an event by shaking the geophone. The display shows waveform recording. Depending on your setup, it may call home after an event. In our case, we have set it up to simply continue to monitor and call home later. A note for users with advanced licenses. A schedule can contain both compliance and advanced setup files. Compliance setup files are easily distinguishable as their extension is .nsb, whereas the advanced setup files extension is .nsa. When you start monitoring using a schedule, the specified setup file will be loaded before monitoring starts. An important note about histogram and histogram combo modes. If a unit is monitoring using a schedule and it encounters a start monitoring action, the unit will automatically stop monitoring, close the current histogram event file and start a new event file. If any actions such as auto call home are defined, it will perform them in parallel. Let's say you wish to set up a schedule for continuous monitoring for a 24 hour time period. Begin with a start monitoring action, let's say at 12 midnight until the following day at 12 midnight. In this way, an entire day's monitoring will be collected into one event file. There is no need to include a stop monitoring action. When the schedule reaches the second start monitoring action, it will stop its event gathering activity, close that histogram event file and create a new event file in which the new day's data will begin to populate. This crossover takes approximately 15 seconds, during which time the unit will not gather data. If continuous long-term monitoring is required, it is recommended that at least once a week you stop monitoring so that you can remove or delete all data from the unit, as this cannot be done while units are recording data. It is recommended to activate the two options in the setup file, to call home after event recorded, and to monitor while calling home. In this way, the unit will finish its day's histogram recording. Then it will send the data to Thor and in parallel continue to record data into a new event file. Now that the Minimate Pro schedule is all set up, it's ready for autonomous monitoring.